Vision. Eye on the prize. You've know, we got some warmer temperatures on the way for sure. But first, this weekend. Dan Butler getting a picture for us this morning. This is the sunrise in Kensington. Really beautiful out there right now. It, temperatures are generally the same as yesterday, although there was a bit of a bigger difference. I'd say earlier this afternoon when it was a little bit cooler out there right now. 37 in Hartford, middle 30s right now in Meriden, but we're dealing with a breeze. Now this is not wind gusts, but these are sustained winds, which is a fancy way of saying temperatures are blowing consistently anywhere between 12 to about 17 miles per hour. That's adding an extra chill to the air. Yesterday at this time, we were talking a lot about the several major earthquakes in the South Pacific. This is New Zealand, and at that time, I had no idea that we were going to get a little earthquake of our own. I mean, barely showing up here on magnitude. This is our little chart. We started it at two. It's a 1.9 in West Hartford uh, late last night, early this morning. And I just wanted to show you this. If you were on the news at 10 last night or if you were watching, you might have seen this. We were talking about the magnitude 8 earthquake in the South Pacific with the equivalent of a 33 billion pound of explosive. I mean, that's a lot of shaking. And this one, about 33 pounds of explosive in equivalency. So a whole lot less shaking. But still, some of you might have felt it going on. So Satellite and radar, we widen out the picture here, and there's not much to show you. If you look to the north, you'll see some clouds, a couple snow showers. There is a chance for a flurry in spots tonight or tomorrow, but I think most of the state stays dry. Overnight low temperatures in the upper teens to low 20s inland and mid 20s for the Connecticut shoreline. Heading through the day tomorrow, we'll see partly cloudy skies, breezy and cooler conditions with the chance for an isolated flurry. High temperatures in the low to mid 30s, but it will feel like the teens in the morning and for let's say the early afternoon feeling like the 20s as we head through the afternoon tomorrow. Now I did want to show you this on the satellite and radar loop and how we see more clouds overnight. Again, maybe a couple snowflakes, more sunshine in the morning and then as we head through the afternoon, we'll generally tend to see more clouds kind of bubble up. So I do think that it'll be brighter Saturday morning than Saturday afternoon and then Sunday just kind of feels a little bit better overall. Highs are in the mid to upper 30s, but we get rid of the wind and we see a lot more sunshine and this is what the hype is about here as we head into next week 10 to 20 degrees above average look at this low 40s upper 50s near 60 degrees Wednesday and low 60s on Thursday so yeah we never want to just skip right through the weekend but it does look good something to look forward to as we head back to work and school next week guys